this chapter, we're going to talk about sound propagation, vibrating sources and particles interaction. You should be aware that the air is made of molecules. Sound is a wave which is created by vibrating objects and propagated through a medium from one location to another. The medium is simply the material through which the disturbance is moving and it can be thought of as a series of interacting particles. Typically, this medium is air, though it can be water or wood. There has to be a source of the wave, a vibrating object capable of disturbing the first particle of the medium like a guitar string or a tuning fork. The sound wave is transported from one location to another by means of particle-to-particle -particle interaction, with each particle causing a disturbance of its nearest neighbours. Because of the longitudinal motion of the air particles, there are regions where the particles are compressed together and other regions where the air particles are spread apart. These regions are called compressions and rarefactions, respectively. I will now introduce the basic characteristics of a sound wave. We now know that the compressions are regions of high air pressure, while the rarefactions are regions of low air pressure. For this reason, the wavelength is commonly measured as the distance from one compression to the next adjacent compression. The maximum distance the particle of the medium moves away from its rest position is called amplitude. The higher the source of the sound moves as it vibrates, the larger the amplitude of the resulting disturbed particles. The equivalent to amplitude in electrical terms is the voltage of the electrical signal. An acoustical compression of the air corresponds to positive going voltage and an acoustical rarefaction corresponds to negative going voltage. The number of complete cycles per unit of time is called frequency. The unit used to measure wave frequency is called Hertz. The frequency of the wave depends on the frequency at which the source is vibrating. Certain sounds are described as high and others as low. A description of a sound as high or low is known as pitch of the sound. Therefore, pitch is how we perceive the sound. Sound waves that have high frequency are heard as sounds of high pitch and vice versa.